realized that I was no longer going to have my left leg um, in its entirety um, was what am I going to be able to do? Um, you know, how is this going to limit my life? Not being able to see, I knew I was going to lose the independence of being able to drive. I wondered how I was going to play softball and basketball with my daughters and how to go hunting and fishing and if that was still going to be a part of my life. At school, when we picked like teams for like uh, sports, they always like look at me and they look down at my braces and they're like, we don't want him because he's disabled. Definitely my life got flipped on its head being hit by that car at 17, especially when you kind of identified yourself as an athlete and somebody that's super active and to them being bedridden. Uh, without a leg, like, wow, what does my life look like now? When somebody becomes disabled, whether it's from disease or injury or war, they lose their self-confidence, they lose their sense of identity, sometimes they lose their family or friends, and basically they, they, they lose hope. The beauty of sports is it begins to rebuild self-confidence, it gets them active again, it reunites them with their family and friends in a shared activity, and it really restores that hope. Sports um, was really everything for me in my recovery. It was a destination somewhere out into the future of a place that I knew I wanted to be. Sports is the most important thing in my life because it just like lets me be me. Having been able to get back to doing the things I loved before has been a huge um, help for me in my recovery process, I think. Um, not having to give up things that I liked to do being active is huge. You know, getting out and just doing something is, is very huge. It just is fulfilling. You know, it makes life feel like you have a purpose, a meaning to go on. And, uh, that you're like everybody else. What's so great about the Hartford Ski Spectacular which is the largest winter sports event for people with disabilities in the nation, is that it's a week-long event that gives the participants the chance to develop their sports skills, which be rebuilds their self-confidence, it reunites them with family and friends, and it begins to restore that hope in the future. I think it's incredible that there's something like this available to people with disabilities. It's, it's a little intimidating, <laughs> but um, I'm watching all these other people do it and I'm thinking if they can do it, you know, why can't I? You see all different people with all different disabilities and the stories are like amazing. Like how they like lost the limbs, like the disability and how much they accomplished. I've been coming here since 2010, um, getting to connect with my community of an, other adaptive snowboarders getting to show them what I've learned. It's fulfilling to me once again to get out here and chase my cowbell down the mountain. And that leads you back to the house. If I can do this, then maybe I can still do the things I used to do in life. To see individuals with so-called disabilities come here and fly down a 12,000 foot mountain, that's inspiring. We have a belief here at the Hartford that people are defined by what they can do, not what they can't that with the right resources, the heart, mind, and body can accomplish great things. Well, you see that here at the Hartford Ski Spectacular in action. Truly, to me, the only disability in life is a bad attitude. So like, when you're skiing, you like, can't have attitude because it's the best thing ever, and then you're conquering the mountain showing that you can do anything. There's nothing I can't do. And in fact, I've never snowboarded before. Uh, with two legs, so it's really nice to be here and, and be able to try it with one. When you get to come to the Hartford Ski Spec and you get to be brought to the top of the mountain and you get to ride back down, you're going from being knocked down from your disability to going to the top of the mountain and then riding down and you conquer that mountain, it's very healing because then you get to conquer your disability. This, these things to me are the best part of humanity. Absolutely the best part of humanity. When you see so many people give so much of themselves to help others, it's amazing. And it's uh, just wonderful to be a part of it.